Randy McKee here at Soccer 605, and I'm here in the bleachers with Chloe Pearson from Brookings. Uh, Chloe, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, uh, we've been touting you as one of the top U15, U16 players coming up through, and, you know, last year you got a pretty serious hip injury. You've been rehabbing it. Last time I talked to you, you were really frustrated, wanting to rush it along, but it looks like you're up and rolling. Yeah, I was uh, lots of working out and working hard, and it's really good to be back, and I really missed it a lot. <laughs> so what exactly did they do in, inside your hip to make it go better? Uh, they had to release the iliopsoas tendon because it caused impingement, and it would pop. And so they just released that, and that was... You're, you're good to go. So what kind of rehab did you have to do on that? Well, we started out just with movement stuff, but that kind of made it worse. So we saw a different doctor and had to do lots of, like we did lots of plyometrics and cardio to build muscle. And that kind of took it off and made it really fast heal up. Well, that's really good. You know, um, I'm sitting here looking at your uh, South Dakota United patch on your shirt and you're playing in the independence team. They're still kind of working on putting that side together, but you know, you've got a lot of playing opportunities uh, in Brookings, Watertown, that joint club, the Dakota Alliance. What is it about South Dakota United that makes you want to play in their club? I just like how there's people from all over, so you get to know how they play and how the other teams play, and then when you get together, it's interesting because you usually never play together, but when you get together, you flow smoothly as a team, as if you've been playing since you were little. You know, uh, and you know, one thing I noticed over the years is that uh, there's, you know, like if in your hometown, a lot of times uh, you can get kind of little cliques develop among players, two or three player groups, and but that really doesn't happen in your club, does it? No, not really. It it's a lot easier this way because everybody's involved always, and yeah, it's just a good environment. You know, a lot of players that that uh, play in a club that's not in their hometown get a little bit of criticism from their hometown people. Does that has that happened to you too? Yeah, it especially last year when I played, but this year it's gotten a lot better. But there's still a little bit, but you kind of just have to deal with it. Well, yeah, you know, people uh, kind of, you know. Want, want kids to play in their own town, but um, one thing about South Dakota United, have they ever told you you couldn't play in your hometown team? Mm -mm, they're very open. They want us to have as much soccer as we can, so play on both teams, and it works. Well, Chloe, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a, uh, a picture to, or, or a video of uh, a later game this tournament, but uh, it's great to see you back out here and great to see you developing those skills, and uh, we sure look forward to watching you play. Thank you, Randy.